Meanwhile, the Namibian police held a press briefing in the afternoon to tell their side of the story. They explained that the struggle kids decided to cause trouble after they were ordered to vacate the camp, which is owned by Swapo. According to the police, they decided to forcefully remove the struggle kids after they refused to disperse. Upon our arrival there, we give them clear instructions that it was unlawful for them to cause an obstruction on a public road, to place obstruction on the public road, and that uh, they must remove what they have placed on the road. So they have refused, and uh, we order them to disperse because they themselves, around about uh, 250 to 300, were scattered on the surface of the road. So we order them to move. They refused to move. As a result, we were forced to use uh, minimum force. In the process, two police buses were slightly damaged, while one struggle kid sustained head injuries. We received one complaint that uh, one of them had uh, suffered slight injuries on the, on the head. And uh, he was now the one that was being forcefully removed from the road service by the police. And the others now start throwing stones and bottles. They, in that process, they hit their fellow colleague. So he was taken by the main police force to Kaltura State Hospital. Although at the time, when we take him to the hospital, there were no visible marks of an injury on his body. But we take him and he was treated and discharged the same day, the same day today. The police confirmed that they were not targeting any of the group leaders and that they only wanted to engage them to find a solution on the matter. Reporting for the News on One, I'm Joseph Shifene.